Last year at COP26, India made an ambitious commitment to achieve 50% renewable energy by 2030 and achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2070. Many experts and scientists worldwide welcome the announcement and India's leadership on renewables expansion. In fact, even before Glasgow, India has been paving its way as a forerunner in renewable energy expansion. India led the creation of the International Solar Alliance, and today we have 105 countries who are members. India ranks fourth in the total renewable energy capacity in the world. We have a total installed base of 110 gigawatt that comes from renewable energy. Now we have done considerably well in large solar parks, but we have more to do in the rooftop distributed RE capacity, and that is where we are focusing more. Despite the challenges experienced by many parts of the world to expand rooftop solar PVs, there is a place in India that is often seen as an exemplary case. Let's now travel to Gujarat, a state on the western coast of India, to learn about the story behind its success. So Gujarat is a clear leader in terms of renewable energy in India, with more than 40% of its electricity generation capacity coming from renewable energy sources of solar and wind. And more than 10% of this capacity comes from rooftop solar. Rooftop solar is gaining increased attention not just in India, but also globally. Actually, 아, 앞에서 보여졌던 많은 문제들 이런 부분들을 거의 절반은 해결하고 나아가는 부분들입니다. She also said that rooftop expansion has been difficult in South Korea because of strict building codes and the lack of proper incentive structure. In Gujarat, it was a series of concrete energy policies that allowed the state to rapidly increase its distributed solar energy. So Gujarat state government's favorable policies has played a vital role in promoting rooftop solar capacity. So just to give you an example, the MSME segment was provided a feed-in tariff of Rs 1.75 per kilowatt hour and this is the tariff at which the rooftop solar owner can sell back the excess power it generates to the grid. There were also hosts of subsidies provided. So the subsidies were in the range of 20 to 40 percent on the capex of uh, rooftop solar installation depending on the size of the rooftop solar capacity. So, the development of 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 the 그 소형 태양광이거든요. 그래서 이 부분들에 대한 FIT 제도 이 부분들은 없애는 게 아니라 계속 유지를 해야 된다. Gujarat's success in expanding rooftop solar capacity shows us the power of effective energy policies that can motivate everyone to take part in the clean energy transitions. For India, this effort in expanding solar energy is far from over. We have set a massive target for us, uh, that is 500 gigawatt to be achieved by 2030. Solar energy is going to play a very important role in this non-fossil based capacity addition. There are people, there are companies, and there are opportunities for the solar ecosystem to grow. I would encourage all the global stakeholders to participate in our renewable energy journey.